first guest is an Oscar winner starring in the new film Stillwater, which opens in theaters July 30th. Please welcome Matt Damon. <laughs> Mr. Matt Damon, you know you can't fail. Your mission to get your daughter out of jail. Mr. Matt Damon, got to take a chance. If you want to see her, you got to go to France. Are you kidding oh, me? Man. Come on. That's so good. <laughs> you can't beat that feeling, right? Oh, it's the best. Yeah, it's it the is best. the greatest. Welcome yeah. back. Yeah, uh, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. That's uh, great. Thanks for coming on the show and coming here live in studio. We appreciate this. Yeah, uh, I'm so lucky to have come tonight. Like, yeah. what a big night. This it is, is cool. a big night for us. Yeah, yeah I, I, I heard this rumor, because I know you and the family moved out to L.A. for a few years. Yeah. Ten, eight years. Yeah, eight years. Uh, you're, you may be coming back to New York. Is that... Yeah, we're moving back. Yeah. You are yeah, coming yeah. back to the city. I love it. Yeah, we were supposed to actually move back last year, but... Um, but oh, yeah. with, with everything that happened, I didn't want to put my kids in a new Zoom school. <laughs> <laughs> How many Zoom schools can we do? Yeah, be really. Yeah, I mean, exactly let's just, right. But, so, but, but uh, you know, we're East Coast people, and, you know, there's no place like home. So there's no place like back. home. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, good. Well, welcome back. Thank I know you. you uh, I have two daughters. You have four daughters? Yeah. What, uh, we have, I mean, it's the cutest <laughs> thing in the world. My kids are, uh, Winnie just turned eight today. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, so birthday. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. How, uh, so what, I'm 10, 12. 15, and then we've got one who just turned 23. Wow. Yeah. And, and, and can you tell the difference, the 15 and... Oh, yeah. I mean, not the difference <laughs> no. between two, but I mean in age. No, I don't really know the difference between my kids. I just kind of... <laughs> <laughs> I think I know you, right? You're, right, you're right. one of mine, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, as the older one, are they, is it a teenager? Is that a real thing where they're like, oh, dad, no, stop. Oh, my, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting eye rolls now, and... You are. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Where they used so, to be my biggest fan. Anything I right. did, they would laugh at and go, yeah, that's right. So that's, that's interesting. Funny. So the eye roll is, so remember when your kid started crawling? Yeah. And you thought it was really cool the first day? And yeah. then, like, the second day, you're like, you turn your head for one minute, and you're like, how'd you get to Cleveland? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, all of a why are you wearing a Guardian's hat? How'd you know how to... <laughs> <laughs> It's like, the how, you know, did you buy yes. a bus ticket? How like, what, what is happening this fast? So the eye roll thing's like that. Like, it's, it's cute. Oh, she rolled her eyes at me. Yeah. And then, like, within a couple of weeks, it's like, yeah. it's, it's a first snowball in the avalanche. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Dad, yeah. oh, God, stop, Dad. Just like, stop. Just everything I do is not cool. Really? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Like, nice. if music comes on and I start to dance, it's like, I, it's immediately <laughs> it's shut like, down. It's like, please do yeah. not do that. Dude, stop it now! <laughs> You're embarrassing me. I'm like, we're the only ones here. Yeah, right? come on. They, we got to give, we're family. I'm, I'm not, I'm moving to the music. It's like a thing that happens. Yeah, they won't, they won't let you do it. How about, but mom's cool. Yeah, of course. I mean, they let mom's the coolest thing ever. And she's <laughs> got them convinced, and yeah. she's kind of got me convinced, too. So yeah, exactly. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Good for you. But uh, I, I'm happy that your family's great. I want to talk about uh, uh, The Last Duel before we talk about uh, your new movie. The Last Duel, you just uh, finished this movie, you and Ben Affleck. Uh, your, your, your buddy, I mean, your, your pals forever. You co-wrote uh, Good Will Hunting together. Yeah. This is the first script that you wrote together since then. That's right. The uh, first movie we've written in 25 years or something. And we, wrote with someone, we wrote with a, another great writer named Nicole Holof Center. And it's, a, it's a movie, it's going to come out later in the year, but it's about, it's about the last sanctioned uh, duel in medieval France between these two knights, one of whom accused the other of, of, of raping his wife, and they fought to the death. And... Um, and it's all based on this uh, history book we read. And so we adapted that. And, but we saw it as a story of perspective. And so Ben and I wrote the male perspectives, and Nicole wrote the female perspective. And wow. we're really excited about it. Ridley Scott directed it. It's going to. I love that. Yeah, yeah, I love you guys are back together. I can't wait for that. I want to tell you. Yeah, come well, back when that comes on, too. Thank, yeah, I will, I'll, we'll come back. For yeah. That. I'll bring him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bring him. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, I want to, I want to ask him, too. Uh, but uh, let's talk about your movie uh, out now, Stillwater. Congrats on the great reviews for this. Uh, you totally transform. In this, by the way, and I've seen everything you're in, and you know I love you, but I'm like, oh, this is like you walk different, you yeah. stand different, the goatee, the yeah. the hat, the the boots, the. I mean, yeah. you're from Oklahoma. Yeah, I, we went down there, and and the the we this guy that, that I play is a roughneck. Right? He works on the oil rigs, and um and we were really lucky. We met these great roughnecks who gave us com kind of complete access. You went to Oklahoma, really? Yeah, absolutely, and went, and and that's where all the detail and the performance kind of came from. It came were they from. open arms, like? Yeah, let me show you what, what yeah, to do. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they were, like, understandably wary at first, you know? <laughs> kind of like, you know, what are you, 
What are your intentions? Like, yeah, you're yeah. making a movie about a roughneck. Like, come on, Hollywood liberal. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're not making fun of us, are you? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And and once they saw that Tom McCarthy is the director, Tom and I were what our movie was, and that we were just trying to get it accurate. They they were they were amazing and took us around to their oil rigs, took us to, you know to their families, like barbecues in the backyard, which was just amazing. It was such an insight into these guys and how they they're just completely helped the performance and also like you know we're sitting in the backyard and like then I mean I, not a backyard don't think back like think like big sprawling Oklahoma yeah. rural beautiful landscape and like the teenagers kind of whisper something to their dad and their dad's like all right and like the shotguns come out and really? like, yeah well they they wanted to take a run at Jason Bourne in the, you know <laughs> yeah. oh, so of course they're like you. Uh, Jason Bourne's here. I'm like, yeah, all right, kids, come on, let's go. Like, so Shh, we're yeah, like, go. you know, shooting skeet and eating barbecue. It was basically the best day, best day ever. Oh, my gosh. Isn't it amazing how, I mean, gosh, you know, the, everything in this country is gorgeous. But really, I, we don't even get a chance to even explore a second of it. But if you go to Oklahoma, you're like, oh, my gosh, this is amazing. I know. Well, that's a great thing about my job, actually. It's one thing that, you know, that research phase, like, just because I'm an actor, people kind of, you know, throughout my life have accepted me into their, you know, I'd say like, hey, I'm trying to research this. Can you help? And they're like, yeah, come on, let me show you how I live. And, yeah. um, and it's the coolest thing. It's, I always leave those trips feeling like what, what, what binds us is so much greater than what divides us. And I always leave those trips kind of angry at politicians. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. Exactly, right? It's yeah. like, oh, yeah, we could all get along. This is actually, yeah. we're all here together. Uh, the movie is, uh, it, it's, it's, it's tricky. It's tricky. Uh, your daughter basically goes to France and she's accused of murdering someone that she did not, she, a murder she did not commit. And you have to go try to talk to her. She's in prison and figure out what actually went on, what's going down. Yeah, it's a, he, it, the movie starts and you realize this roughneck, this guy from Oklahoma is traveling and he, he ends up in Marseille, France. And you're like, what is going on? And it turns out he's visiting his daughter who's already four years into a, into a sentence for a murder that she didn't commit. And, and so it, it looks like it might be a thriller, like one of those like awesome Liam Neeson movies where he's like, I have a particular set of skills. You know? <laughs> like, exactly. But it's, it's not that at all. So yeah. I just want to, please don't go to the movie thinking that, because it really is more of a drama. It's like a, you know, it's got some of those thriller elements, but it really, it's about a real guy trying to really do his best. And he doesn't really have the tools that he needs. He, he doesn't speak the language. He doesn't understand the culture. He's just trying to help because he's kind of got this damaged relationship with his daughter and he's just trying to make it right. But also as any good movie, it has a couple good twists. Sure. In the end it's, ooh, you didn't see it coming. You're like, what? I, we were lucky to go to a screen, which I was just psyched to go to a movie theater. Yeah. With people and yeah. I go, oh my gosh. And I was just even just getting kind of uh, emotional. I saw uh, the, some footage from you at, at uh, Cannes. Yeah. You got a standing ovation for this film. Yeah. And you get a little choked up because you go like, yeah, I miss all this stuff. We kind of take it for granted, but... Yeah, but it's like tonight. It's just the best. Like, we belong in rooms together. Like, that's... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Matt Damon in Stillwater. Take a look at this. Hey. Hey. What happened? I'm sorry, I just, I, I can't talk to that guy anymore. He was just saying some horrible things. Like what? Like he just wants to put an Arab kid in jail. You know, he doesn't care which one. That's it? That's it? What do you mean, that's it? He's a racist. Okay, he's a racist. We still gotta talk to him. No, I don't talk to him, no. Well, he might know something. No, he doesn't know something. Bill, we're not gonna send an innocent boy to jail. My daughter is innocent. That's so, by the way, before thanks before before you invite him out, can I just say Ted Lasso is the greatest thing that that Jason Sudeikis is so awesome. Yeah, on the show. yeah, you can say that. Yeah. I was so happy it that. Is, yeah, right? yeah, it's so good. It's good so good. I'm guy. so happy for that yeah, guy. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I agree with yeah. you. Matt Damon, everybody. That's what I'm talking about. Stillwater opens in theaters July 30th. Hey, hey.